In this video, we're going to learn how to style the tabs widget in the jQuery UI. Now, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open up our website folder. And let's go ahead and open up the jQuery UI folder. And then we want to open up all of those jQuery UI CSS files. So let's open up this first one, the jQuery hyphen UI. We'll edit that in Notepad++. And then let's go ahead and we'll open up this jQuery hyphen UI dot structure. And then we'll go ahead and open up the UI.theme CSS file. There we go. So we've got all three of these files open and we need to update each one of these. But first, let's go ahead and pull up our website. And the first section of this tab widget that we want to go ahead and work against is the panel itself. So we're going to give this a black background and we'll change the color of the text as well. So let's go ahead and do that first. And we want to go to the structure.css first and actually it's gone all the way to the top here. And actually we wanted to be at the bottom, sorry. Let's go all the way to the bottom. And you're going to find, let's see here, I'm looking for it. We're looking for this class called UI-tabs, but we want the panel version of this. There it is. So this is what we need right here, this one that has UI-tabs-panel. You can search for this as well up here under this search option. You can just do a find on that if you can't find it within the style sheet itself. So this is exactly what we want to work against in terms of the panel. So let's go ahead and we'll add a background property. Actually, background hyphen color, of course. And we're going to make that black. And then let's go ahead and make the color of the text light gray. So that's what we'll make for that. All right, good. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's go back over to our index.html. Let's launch our page and see what we get. And we don't need this anymore. And there you can see, look, it works. Let's click on some of the other different tabs here. And the panels are all black. And now the text, of course, is light gray. So that worked very well. So let's go ahead and close this out. And actually, I was a little quick on that. Let's go ahead and open that back up. Now what we want to do is go ahead and change these buttons, the tab buttons themselves. And the first one we're going to change is uh, the inactive one. So of course this is the active one and these are the inactive ones. So we'll go ahead and change the inactive ones first. Maybe we'll make this green or something, dark green. So let's go ahead and close this out. And we're going to go back to the structure.css file. And what we need to do is actually let's go all the way to the top and I want you to do a search. And we're going to search on the word anchor. I think that will get what we need. And here we go. That's what we needed. And actually, that wasn't far away from the panel. We actually didn't have to go search for that. But I never seem to remember where these things are. These files are very large. But this is the class we want right here, this UI-tabs-anchor. So this will affect that button that I just showed you. So first, let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and change the background color. And we're going to change that to, actually, let's make it white. So we'll make that white. And then we're going to change the color of the text to dark green. So we'll go ahead and save this and let's go back and launch our page and let's see what we get. And there you can see that looks pretty nice, right? And actually I was wrong about that. It changes all of the buttons. You can see here they are all changed now. But what we want to do is go ahead and change the tab that is actively opened. And in this case, Ancient Greece. We want that to be a little bit different so the user knows that they're on the active tab. So let's go ahead and do that. And we go back to the structure.css and I believe it's very close here. And it's these three classes right here. Now you can see they have no rules here. That's why all of the buttons, when we just looked at the web page, were updated. So we have no rules here. So we actually have to create some rules. So let's go ahead and we'll just copy and paste this right here. Of course, we need those squiggly brackets. And we'll just go ahead and copy and paste those right here. And what we're going to do here is do the opposite of what we did with the inactive tabs. So we're going to go ahead and just copy and paste these two properties right here. We don't obviously need a margin bottom or a padding bottom. And we're just going to flip them now. So the color will become dark green for the background color and the color of the text will be white. I always like that, by the way, when you have those nice little contrasts. So let's go ahead and save this now. And let's go back to our index.html. Let's go ahead and launch this. And take a look at that. Now we have this nice contrast. And the user will definitely know that they're on this first tab. And let's just make sure the rest of these tabs work. 
and they do. So this is working very nicely. Okay, so the final thing we want to do is go ahead and work against this, this background behind the tabs. We want to go ahead and work against that. And let's actually mimic this color over here. So we'll put this light green color into this panel here, sort of keep a centralized theme. And we're going to actually work against this main jQuery CSS file right here. And we're going to go ahead and do a search on UI-widget-header. So let's go ahead and do that. And we come right down here. And this is exactly what we need to update. Now let's go ahead and we'll change the border color. And we're going to just change that to orange. So we'll change that to orange. Get rid of the eight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to replace this entire property, this background property. And we're going to replace that with the background hyphen color property. And this is the hex value that we're going to use. And of course, this is the same background color that we used in the sidebar. So let's go ahead and save this and let's see if it works. And we'll reload our page. And it didn't work. So evidently I was in the wrong place. Now I thought I knew this pretty well. Um, let's go ahead and inspect this. And that's strange. Let's see this here. jQuery UI.theme. Actually, let's close this out again. I thought I was inspecting. That's not the color. And it looks like, oh, is it in the widget header <laughs> inside the uh, theme.css? Let's, let's go back to that. And let's go back to that file. And let's go over here to the theme.css. We'll do a search. And it looks like it's right here. So let's try this. You can see how that inspect option off Google really works nicely. So let's change this to orange. And let's just change this to red just to see if it works. So we'll switch this to red. And we'll switch this to background hyphen color. Let's go ahead and save this now. We'll reload our page and it worked there you go so that's where you needed to go and again you can see how well that inspect option works i was in the wrong place but i figured it out by using the inspect option in google chrome now if you want to go ahead and sync this up with this color go ahead uh, we'll just leave this red for now but you can put whatever color you want so again that's going to do it for this video thanks again for watching